Hi guys, welcome back to my whatever. Uh, recently, I was on the internet, surprise, and going through YouTube and I found myself in a little community of YouTube of people that call themselves booktubers and they refer to their little corner of YouTube as booktube. And anyway, what it is is basically people who all their videos are about books. They have a love for books and they do book hauls and book reviews and reading tips and all that sort of thing. So anyway, I thought this would be a good place to find books to read. Because, you know, my second channel, that's what I do. Um, so anyway, um, based on them doing book hauls, I got an idea because I recently found out about a store in my area called the $1 Book Swap where all the books are, are a dollar and kids books are like, depending on what they are, some of them are a dollar too, but a few of them, but some of them are in bins and those are as many as you can stuff in a bag for $10. So I went today and my rug rat got herself a nice bag of books. She's got herself at least 70 books in here, so you know, she's prepared. She can't read yet, but she's trying. She is at least pretty good at making up stories based on what the picture thing, the picture said, uh, you know. Based on the picture, she can guess what the words are. May not be completely accurate, but you know, imagination. I just let her have it. But also, I got me a bunch of books. So, thanks to those people who call themselves booktubers, I got an idea. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a book haul whenever I go buy books because I don't do that that often but now that I know about this place that sells all these random books for a dollar because there's new, new-ish, and well-worn. I mean you can find books from great condition to not so great condition. Either way they're all a dollar. So, so this is my first book haul. And basically I'm just going to say this is what I got. I bought it. That happened. Okay. I'm not really going to give you like a synopsis of every book. I don't think that's necessary. If you know what it is, awesome. Most of these are books that I've been wanting to read for a while or I have read and haven't been able to find. Um, and then I did get, I think, three books that I had never heard of before. Um, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. First, first let me say something. If you have been on my second channel, Lady Audio, link in the description, if you have been there, the two books that I have been reading are Eleven Thumps by Orbert Sky. Now, I, as much as I love those books, there is another similar series titled Fable Haven. I do own those books. They, like the Eleven Thump series, have been my favorite books since I was in high school. But I did find out that the author of the Fablehaven series, Brandon Maul, has written other books. So, this, ignore all the stickers, see I say they're not all perfect, this is The Beyonders by Brandon Maul. I'm a little, I'm a little, I'm really excited to read this one because, I mean, this is by the author of one of my favorite book series. And I'm, I've been out of high school for seven years, and I don't remember when I actually read these. Like 10th grade, I think? I don't know. So I'm hoping that this brings me as much excitement and joy as the Fablehaven series does. So that's that. Also, I read the, um, what is this? The Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I don't know if you've seen that movie, The Lightning Thief, or... Did the second one come out? I don't remember. If it did, I haven't seen it. But anyway, I wasn't a huge fan of the movie, but I love the story. And I had read some of the books, but I didn't own them. So as of now, I own books one, two, and three. So I have The Lightning Thief, Sea of Monsters, and Titan's, there it is, Titan's Curse. And these are all by Rick Reardon. So, reading those, mythology, I like things, I, I like mythology fiction, so, yeah. But also, Rick Reardon wrote another series that is like the follow-up series 
to this one. Um, and different characters, the characters in The Olympians are, do show up in this series, but they're not the main characters. And this is the heroes of Olympus. So I bought book one, The Lost Hero. So more, more of that type of thing. Um, I also bought, these are ones that I really don't know what they're about. But I, it is my understanding that they also fall under the, there are mythological creatures within it. But I don't really know much else. I just know that the covers are pretty and myths are involved. And anyway, I've been wanting to read them for a long time. So I bought books one and two of the Septimus Heap series. So I got Magic and Flight. I think that's how you say that, Flight, by Angie Sage. There are a lot more of these, so if I like these, I'll be looking for the rest of them. Also, this is another one. When I was looking up um, the books like that one on um, the internet the other day, just trying to find books. If you, if you like these books, you might also like, and I came up with the Trouble Twisters. Again, I have no idea what this one's about. It just said I might like it based off of other books that I liked. And this is by Garth Nix and Sean Williams. So, let's see, what else do I have that's relevant to anything? Okay. No. Where are these? Got them all spread out behind me if you didn't, you know, get that. Um, a while back, the movie Ink Heart came out heard something outside. The movie Ink Heart came out. I never read that book. My best friend read that book and she liked that book and there are actually others in that series. So today I found Ink Heart by Cornelia Funk, I think. And I also found Ink Spell, which is I believe the second book. It doesn't say it is, so I'm gonna have to look it up. I know Ink Heart's the first one, but I think this is the second one. So, I'm going to have to look before I, you know, open it. Also, keep in, like, I don't know. I do like, if I like mythological things, then I like dragons, right? So, this is by Chris Delancey. I got these three books. I don't know what order they go in. For all I know, I might not even have the first one in my hand because I don't know how many there are. Um, but The Fire Within, Fire Star, this is very, I don't know what's glaring, and Ice Fire. So, yeah, again, it doesn't say on the spine anywhere what order they are. So, I'm going to have to look it up and hopefully, I these are books one, two, and three. <laughs> All right, now this one. I don't know if I'm going to like this book. This is another one, like Inkheart, where I saw the movie first. Because with um, the Olympians, I read the books first. But this is another one where I read the movie first. So I don't know how I'm gonna feel about the book. Not necessarily saying that I'm gonna think the movie is better. I just, some books, that are based in older times, I struggle with reading them. They're just, I don't know, they're just not as easy to read to me, just based on, you know, the verbiage that is used throughout it. So, um, I feel like this will be interesting. This is by Seth Graham Smith. Yeah. And it is Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. That should be interesting. Because, again, I watched the movie. I did like the movie. It was very interesting. Very interesting concept. So, I have hopes for the book. So, anyway, this next book. Okay, this is light. I turned on a lamp. So, I don't know. It's getting dark outside. I've been working with sunlight. Anyway, that's regard. This, whatever. Okay. So, this next book. I don't know a thing about it. I just know that I have a friend of mine who is interested in it and it's actually one of my best friends 
who actually got me to start my second channel where I read books because she's not a reader but she does like she she likes books but she doesn't read that makes it sound like she doesn't know how to read she knows how to read she just you know how some people like they like the idea of books but actually trying to physically read makes you sleepy she's one of those so my my husband's like that too so basically I started the channel so that I could read the books and then she could listen to them and that way she could still share my love of books and enjoy the books without actually having to open one. So anyway, I don't know anything about it. I do know that currently there are two of them out and I do believe the third one will be out soon within maybe the few months. I don't remember. I looked it up but I don't remember. So anyway, this is by Robert Beatty and it is Serafina and the Black Cloak. Again, another one that I have to look up because I can't remember if this is the first one or the second one. I think it's the first one. I think it is. But I'm not sure. Okay. So I think... No. Hold up. I had these books. These books. I had this book that I read in junior high school. Around thereabouts. Junior high. Maybe freshman year. I don't know. And it was my favorite book at the time. And it was a scholastic book that a father had originally told as a bedtime story to his daughter and he decided to share it with the world and got it published. Now I had that one book, but there were multiples in the series of scholastic books, but I could never find them. I have since found them on Amazon, but I haven't, you know, been able to order them yet. So, um, I was so excited when I got to the store today and found out that they had, how many books, did I say how many books there were? I don't know, there are four of them. If I said anything different, it was wrong. Anyway, so there are four of them, and I own the one that I read when I was younger. I own that one. So I got to the dollar book swap today, and I found book one again, because I didn't need book one, but I also found books two, three, and four. So for a dollar a piece, I spent three dollars, I bought them, of course. So anyway, it, the series I'm talking about is actually called The Land of Elyon, and book one is The Dark Hills Divide. And it is by Patrick Carmen. It is an amazing series. Um, a girl, she gets like, and like this marble type thing that allows her to talk to animals, and it's, there's issues going down in the forest outside the walls. Just read it. Anyway. <laughs> So I've always wanted to know what happened after book one, but I never found out. So now I'm going to because I have the rest of them. So the other books are book two is Beyond the Valley of Thorns. Book three is The Tenth City. And book four, from my understanding, is technically a prequel. Um, yeah, before the walls went up. So yeah, book four is a prequel written after but takes place before. And anyway, it's called Into the Mist. So even so the girl in these two isn't the main character because I don't even think she's born yet in this one. So we'll see. And uh, everything else, so I guess there's one, two, there's four books that I got that I have I didn't have the slightest idea anything about them before. I never heard of them, nothing. I just went, that sounds interesting. Maybe I would like that. So I got Dragon Slippers by Jessica Day George. The front cover says she won a dragon. She won a dragon gold. She got a pair of shoes. Are they gold shoes? Cause I feel like, I mean, I like shoes, but if I went in there for gold and I got shoes, I would be a little upset. So could they be at least gold shoes? I don't know. Maybe they do something special. There's got to be a reason she's happy with the shoes. So, we'll see. I got Dragon Rider by, oh, by Cornelia Funk, by the lady who wrote Inkheart and Inkspell. Lady, is that a lady? Man, Cornelia. That sounds like a lady. That sounds like the female version of Cornelius. So, I guess. I don't know. Apologies if 
I'm wrong. But anyway, I don't know. I just looked at this one and thought it looked cool. I didn't even read the back of the book, so I don't know. They're in search of a mythical place where dragons can live in peace forever. Oh, that sounds nice. I hope this is good. Two more. I got... Okay, let's start with this one. A Crack in the Sky by Mark Peter Hughes. This one is basically like they all... Like it's way far in the future and everybody's living in a dome and something happens in the dome. Like there's a... Let's see. Notice something wrong with the artificial sky. Noticed that the dome city is hotter than it's ever been. So something's going on. I guess the sky cracked and it's getting hot. I don't know. I don't know. I started, I did start reading this one before I left the um, store. So it sounds interesting so far. Um, and this one. If I had had more money, there would have been more. Because this one right here is book one in a series. And they had, of books one through six, they were only missing book five. And then I don't know if there are any more after book six. But anyway, by D.J. McHale, it's Pendragon. And book one is The Merchant of Death. So, I don't know. The title, Pendragon, just sounded familiar to me. I don't know where I've heard it before. I do remember now where I heard it. Pendragon, as in Arthur Pendragon. You know, King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Still may not be relevant. I don't know, because I still haven't opened it. But I remember where I know the name from, and that's all that matters. Mystery solved. Moving on. So I just grabbed it. I was like... I figured, one, they were missing book five anyway, and because I didn't know for sure where I'd heard it or if it was going to be anything I liked, I just decided I wasn't going to, you know, buy them all because I already went a dollar, one dollar, over my limit. I didn't want to go six dollars over my limit, so, was it six dollars? I got one, and then there's four more, so five dollars. It would have been five dollars over my limit if I got it. No? Four more? I don't math. It wasn't my strong suit. Anyway, going one dollar over my limit was not something I was supposed to do, but I did, so I didn't want to get the rest of them, so I thought, you know, I'll just start with book one, and if I like it, maybe when I go back they'll have it, and if not, I'll find it somewhere else. Maybe it'll come back to that store because their shelves are different every day. So they say. I believe them. <laughs> because they're located in a warehouse. So you can actually see sections that are roped off of just gay lords of books that haven't been sorted and put out yet. So also a cool thing that makes me happy about this place is when you buy a book, they donate a book to, you know, children in need. And that makes me very happy. I'm definitely happy to support that. So um, I will be going back and I will be doing hauls. And also, again, if you haven't been to my second channel, please go there, because the link is, the, is in the description. I still only have one and a half books up, but I am reading quite frequently, and eventually, hopefully, all of these books will wind up on that channel at some point, along with the other 30 books that I currently have stacked and lined up, ready to be read. So if you have read any of these books, please leave a comment below about whether or not you liked it. Um, but please don't give me any spoilers. <laughs> Just let me know. Is this great? Also, book suggestions. If you have any book suggestions that you think I would like to read based off the fact that all of these have like, you know, mythological creatures and like dragons and fairies and whatever, what have you. Um, if you have any suggestions, please put them down in the comments below because I will gladly look them up because as you saw, I bought this one today just because it was one one of my best friends suggested for me to read because she didn't know anything about it. She just knows she wants to know about it. So I bought it so I could read it. So let me know if you do or don't like any of these books and let me know if you have any suggestions for me. And um, yeah, I need to go actually put these away somewhere. So this was what this was, and as usual, <laughs> feel free to click the like button if you liked it, comment if you feel like, subscribe, 
if you want to, because I would really appreciate it. And please share it with all your friends, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!